Hello, everyone. Welcome back. I hope you're having a good day today. If you have a Life of Fred Butterflies book, go ahead and pull your book out now. Remember, you can press pause at any time during the video. We're going to be on page 31 today, chapter 4. And the title is Putting Kingy to Bed. When Fred and Betty had been outside, they had seen nine butterflies fly out of Fred's office window. Now that they knew where the butterflies had come from, if there were caterpillars in his office, then some of them became chrysalises. If some of them had become chrysalises, then after a while, they would have hatched into butterflies. If there were butterflies in his office, then they would have flown out of his window to find leaves to lay their eggs on. What if there had been 10 butterflies and nine of them flew out of the window to find leaves to lay their eggs on? 10 minus nine equals one. Could one butterfly have found something that looked like a leaf right there in Fred's office? Betty carefully took the eggs off of Kingy's hat. She did not tell him what she was doing so he wouldn't be afraid. Betty took the eggs and all the caterpillars and put them in a paper bag. She told Kingy that she and Fred were going to take the bag outside. It was 20 minutes after five. It was getting dark outside. That happens in Kansas in February. During the summer, it stays light until eight or 9 p.m. It's time for you to go to sleep, Fred told his doll. It's dark outside. I have already read to you. But you haven't sung to me yet, Kingy said. Fred headed to the poetry section of his books and took down a book by one of his favorite poets, Christina Rossetti. He found one of his favorite poems, Consider the Lilies. Fred put Kingy on his lap and made up the melody as he sang. But not alone the fairest flowers, the merest grass, along the roadside where we pass, tell of his love who sends the dew. Here is the sheet music for what Fred sang. If you can play the piano, you can sing along with Fred. Christina Rossetti's words were good. Fred's singing sounded like most five-year-olds when they sing. But that was okay. Kingy loved it. Kingy was soon asleep, and Fred put him back under his desk. Fred turned out the light as he and Betty left the room. They passed the nine vending machines in the hallway, five on the right and four on the left. They walked down the stairs and outside into the evening air. Betty opened the paper sack. She put the eggs and caterpillars on the leaves. Betty tossed the paper bag on the ground. Just kidding. She didn't do that. She's not a litter bug. Betty ate the paper bag. Just kidding. She didn't do that. She doesn't eat paper bags. Betty put the paper bag in the garbage can. The students at Kittens University are very proud of how nice their campus looks. There is no trash on the ground. Betty asked, Fred, have you had anything to eat today? She knew that Fred often forgot to eat. Fred thought for a moment. He remembered showing Kingy some pencils in the morning. He remembered drawing a picture of a mouse. He remembered going out jogging about the big snow, about the deciduous roses, about Domenico Fetti's painting, Archimedes Thoughtful. There was so much to remember. Finally, he told Betty that he couldn't remember eating today. He said, we could go back in the math building and I could get a slushie. Okay, everyone, are you ready for your turn to play? Go ahead and grab a sheet of paper and a pencil. And remember, you can press pause at any time. Let's begin. Number one, a slushy, Betty exclaimed. That's just sugar water. You are only a yard tall and you are five years old. How many feet are in a yard? 
Number two. How many exclamation points are in the previous problem? Number three. Count from forty to sixty by twos. Number four. Count from forty to sixty by fives. Number five. Do you think Betty is going to say yes to Fred's suggestion of getting a slushy to drink? Okay. Here are your answers. Go ahead and check your work. Press pause. And are you ready for today's homeschooling meme? Here you go. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that one. I'll see you here tomorrow for chapter five. Bye.